Welcome back to the 700 Club. Intermittent fasting is one of the hottest diet trends. Celebrities from Hugh Jackman to Jennifer Aniston have jumped on the bandwagon. When Dr. Ian Smith looked into this fad, he discovered something incredible. What was it? Take a look. Well-known health expert Dr. Ian Smith seems to be everywhere. Multiple books, a TV show, a podcast, even training the Chicago Police Department. Now, Dr. Ian has taken on the popular subject of intermittent fasting and explained the how and why of the strategy that many programs don't. In his 20th book, Fast Burn, Dr. Ian provides a detailed nine-week plan for losing weight and getting healthy without deprivation. And there he is, Dr. Ian Smith joins us now by Zoom. Dr. Smith, welcome back to the program. Wendy, thanks for having me. Always glad to be back. From a scientific standpoint, what does intermittent fasting do that helps our bodies lose weight? Well, it does a lot of things. And one great thing about intermittent fasting, and the subtitle of my book is called The Power of Negative Energy Balance, which means basically intermittent fasting allows your body to go into a negative energy balance state. So the amount of energy you're getting from your food is not enough to meet your body's energy demands. So your body has to go somewhere to get that needed energy. Where does it go? It goes into your fat stores. Fat is a storage form of energy. And so in the book, when you're in your fasting phase of the program, your body says, I need energy. It takes the fat and melts or, or breaks down the fat, converts it into fuel that your body can use. And that's why, Wendy, when I tested this program in 2,000 people on Facebook, not only did they lose about 15 to 17 pounds in nine weeks on average, but people also wrote about losing six, seven, eight inches around what is typically the stubborn uh, midsection. Wow, that's a lot of inches. Well, what are some of the other health benefits that come from intermittent fasting? Sure, intermittent fasting is great at reducing inflammation. It helps with memory and cognitive issues. It's also good for asthmatic issues. And so we have found that there are a profound uh, amount of effects positive for intermittent fasting, but you have to do it the right way. People think that with intermittent fasting, you can still eat whatever you want, and that's not the case. You still have to be aware of making sure you're eating healthier foods. And in the program, I make sure that the food is regular food. It's affordable. You can find it anywhere. I wrote the book from the standpoint of the user, and that is all the reasons why people say they can't stick to programs, I included those reasons. So there's alcohol, there's pasta, there's pizza, there's pancakes. All these things are still in the program so people don't feel deprived. Wow, that's good news. Well, how long should we fast? What time ranges throughout the day or week? There are different types of intermittent fasting. One called, the most popular is called time-restricted feeding, where you take the 24 hours of a day and divide it into an eating window and a fasting window. So you can do what's called a 12-12, which means 12 hours, you're eating all your meals and snacks. And in the book, I detail every day for you, meal by meal with options in case you're a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, meat eater, you can do the program very easily, you can customize it, but you can decide to do a 12-12. So maybe, maybe you start eating at 8 a.m. in the morning, you stop eating at 8 p.m. And then from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., you're allowed to fast, but you can still drink beverages, beverages as long as you don't total more than 50 calories. But once again, that's just a sample. People can make the plan and the hours work for their own schedule. Have you tried it yourself? Absolutely. Uh, I intermittent fast all the time. It's kind of a way of life. It's not even a diet. Uh, I enjoy it tremendously. And by the way, there are millions of people who live this way. We have a Facebook group that people should join. It's free. It's called Fast Burn Challenge on Facebook. I'm in the group and I guide you day by day through the plan. But you'll see millions of people are doing this and it's no longer a diet. It's just a way of living because it's simply so easy to do. And it's, 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 it's not taxing at all. Like I said, it's very affordable. It's very easy. Uh, and the results are amazing. What if you have some health issues, even minor health issues? Like, like for instance, I have low thyroid, um, you know, and I find that it's almost like that low blood sugar feeling and, and that I, can people like me, can we do this? Yes, we have people who are called hypothyroid, which is low thyroid hormone. People are hypothyroid. We've had pre-diabetics, diabetics who've gotten off their medications, they've lowered their medications. People who are hypertensive, high blood pressure, they blow their blood pressure. So yes, everyone can do it. But I always say to people, always check to make sure your condition doesn't have any unique uh, situations that preclude you uh, from doing certain diets. But in general, we, like I said, in our Facebook group, 
We have people from all walks of life with all different types of medical conditions. All right, Dr. Smith, you break down your fast pro uh, burn program into three stages. Walk us through those stages. Yeah, the first stage, the first four weeks is called ignition. That's when you just start the program, you gradually work your way into it because people who do things too dramatically, too aggressively at first, it doesn't typically work. So I slowly work you in. People lose about 30% of their total nine week weight loss in the first four weeks. Then week five is called intermission. Now this is something very different. Most programs don't do this. You get a break, you get an intermission. So you're taking it easy for a week. You try to put into practice things you've learned over the last four weeks and see if you can do it yourself. And then after the, the week of, of, of the break, we then go into the last four weeks, which is called acceleration. That's where you push the pedal to the metal. People tend to lose most of the weight the last four weeks, and that's when they start losing a lot of inches around their midsection. And we all want to do that this time of year. It is bathing, se bathing suit season has arrived, <laughs> like it or not. Well, uh, you can read more about intermittent fasting in Dr. Smith's new book, Fast Burn. It also includes 33 healthy and mouth-watering recipes. Dr. Ian Smith, thank you so much for your insights. It's always a joy and a pleasure to talk to you. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. God bless you too.